Hi everyone, welcome to Saturday Morning Story Time. I hope you guys have all had a great week and enjoyed celebrating Easter last week on Sunday. It was a great day, even though we couldn't be able to celebrate together, we're still celebrating what Jesus did for us. So today we're still talking about Jesus and we're going to read another book called Jesus and the Very Big Surprise. So this book is a true story about Jesus, his return, and how to be ready. And this week, I need your help with the story a little bit. Because every so often, we say, surprise! And I need you guys to shout that out with me at home, okay? So hopefully this will make more sense as we get into our story. So let's dive right on in to Jesus and the very big surprise. So I'm going to point to the page when I need you to say surprise with me, okay? All right. So... Jesus always surprises everybody. Even though he is the maker of all planets, galaxies, and the universe, <gasps> surprise! He came as a little tiny baby. And even though he is the king of kings, he wasn't born in a big, beautiful palace. Instead, surprise! He was born in a little stable where all the smelly animals lived. When Jesus grew up, he started preaching and teaching. He surprised people all the time. One of his very favorite ways to surprise people was by telling stories about what God is really like. Some people thought that God was always angry, or some people thought he was a trickster and he liked to make bad things happen. Some people thought that God didn't care about them at all. Of course, Jesus knew exactly what God was like. So he told the story about God's love in a way that would surprise everybody, even you. This story is called The Servants Who Waited by Jesus. Jesus told the story about the servants waiting for their big fancy master to come home from a great big wedding. It was their job to sit and wait. With candles burning bright, the servants had to be ready for the moment that their master would return. But that wasn't easy. When the master was away, the servants kept very busy. There were dishes to wash, animals to feed, and clothes to hang. And of course, pipes of the organ to be polished. And when that work is done, the servants still needed to be ready. When the master comes home, they will serve him a snack, fluff his pillows, and bring out his best robes, and read him a bedtime story. But until then, they waited, and they waited, and they waited, until finally the master returns. But the servants are in for a very big surprise. Come and rest, said the master. You must be tired for waiting on me. Come and sit down at my table, and I will serve you. I know what you need. The end. Now, do you think the servants were surprised? In Jesus' story, the master loves his servants so much that he served them. He put on servants' clothes and took care of them. Now, what kind of master loves like that? What kind of God would choose to be the servant? Surprise! Jesus would. He is a great master who serves his people. Like the master in the story, Jesus surprised everyone by using his power to serve. He suffered and he died on the cross so that we could live forever with him. But Jesus still had one more very big surprise. He came alive again. He went back to his Father in heaven and sent his Holy Spirit to be with us until he returned again. Now, no one knows the day or the hour when Jesus will return. It could be any minute. And just like the servants in his story, we have plenty to do while we wait. There are hungry people to serve, lonely people to care for, friends to share with, and enemies to forgive. And it all begins with loving Jesus, the great master who serves. He 
he knows what we need because he is all that we need. So get ready. The master is coming. Now, how do we know the story that Jesus told? This story is a parable that he told about his masters and servants. The parables are the stories that Jesus told in the Bible and the New Testament Gospels about what God was really like. This story was written down for us in the Bible by Luke, who had met and interviewed a lot of people who knew Jesus. You can find it in Luke chapter 12, verses 35 through 38. He tells a story because Jesus wanted his disciples and us to be ready because he is coming at an hour you do not expect. Now, Jesus spoke a lot about his return again and what it would be like and how to wait for it. And here are a few other passages that you can look up in your Bible to give you more details. You can flip to Luke 13 verses 24 through 30 and verse 17, verses 22 through 35, verses 19 verses 11 through 27. Now you can also look in your Bibles at Matthew chapter 25 verses 1 through 13 and 31 through 46. If you have a little extra time to be reading today. This little story about the master who serves his servants is in Luke 12. It's a wonderful one to know and get ready and so that we can be prepared and tell our friends about this great God who serves us and loves us so much. So I hope you enjoyed the story today. Um, we'll be posting another one next week on Saturday so that we can keep learning and talking about this great, big, wonderful surprise of Jesus who loves us and cares for us even in the most unexpected ways. So I miss you guys and I hope you're all doing well at home. We'll see you again soon.